Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. As most of you know that the latest version of Selenium WebDriver is WebDriver 4, which was released in October 2021. Today in this video, I'm going to share the new features of Selenium WebDriver 4. So let's get started. With the new version of Selenium WebDriver, it provided a good amount of new features and improvements. In October 2021, Selenium released WebDriver version 4. Though before that, we already have pre-release version of WebDriver 4 available, but officially it was released on October 2021. Now, if I talk about the new feature provided by the WebDriver 4, then the first feature is that Selenium is now W3C compliant, which I'm gonna discuss in detail. Then the other feature is relative locators. Now, Selenium has provided other locators also to locate the web objects. Then in WebDriver 4, we have better ways of working with browser window and tab. We can now open browser new window and tab using the Selenium methods. After that, the next most interesting feature provided by the WebDriver 4 is Chrome DevTools support. I know most of us use Chrome DevTools to locate objects or to create XPath to identify an object. So most of us are already aware about the Chrome Dev tool, And we know that apart from inspecting an element in the DOM, developers use these Dev tools to perform other activities like monitoring the performance. So I'm gonna talk about this as well. Then we have modification in action class. Action class is used to perform mouse and keyboard events. So now we have a change in the process of using the methods in action class. After that, we have new version of Selenium Grid available. The latest version of Selenium Grid has the Docker support, which we can use to create containers. And now we no longer need to create extra VMs to set up the Selenium grid. And we have the new version of Selenium ID available as well. As we know that Selenium ID is a tool to record and playback. Initially, the Selenium ID was available as an add-on in Firefox browser and later got deprecated with the new version of Firefox browser. But now with Selenium 4, the ID is available for all the major browsers like Chrome, Firefox and Edge. So these are the features or updates provided as a part of Selenium WebDriver 4. Now I'll talk about each feature separately. So first of all, with the new version of WebDriver, Selenium is now W3C compliant. Now you must be wondering, what is W3C compliant? So W3C is an international standards organization founded by the inventor of the web. They developed the standards on which the World Wide Web is run. And when we talk about the W3 compliance, then W3C compliance basically means that the HTML and CSS code that a website is built with is fully compliant with the standards set by the World Wide Web Consortium. So now in Selenium 4, WebDriver uses the W3C protocol to communicate with the browser drivers. Earlier, it used JSON wire protocol to communicate with browser drivers. If you look at this diagram, then in the previous version of Selenium, WebDriver uses JSON wire protocol to send commands to the browser driver to perform the user actions, which used to encode and decode the request to perform the user action on the browser. But now in Selenium 4, WebDriver no longer uses JSON wire protocol to communicate. It uses W3C protocol to communicate with the drivers because all browsers are W3C compliant. So there is no need to add an intermediate between the web driver and the browsers to encode and decode the messages. Now the web driver can directly communicate with the web browser. As Selenium web driver and web browsers uses the same protocol. So this helped in increasing the test automation stability because now we have the consistency across the communication between the web driver and browser. 
So Selenium now can be integrated with all W3C compliant applications or browsers. Then the other feature introduced by Selenium 4 is relative locators. Now in Selenium 4, we have few extra new locators which we can be used to locate the web object. And these extra locators are as above, below, to left of, to right of, and near. Above is used to locate the element that appears above a specified element. It means if you have an element which do not have any unique set of properties to locate, then you can use other objects on the page which are easy to locate to identify the element. So if you have to locate an object and below to that object, there is an element which has unique properties, then with the help of that element, you can find the object which is above to that element. Similarly, below is used to locate the element that appears below of a specified element. And to left of is used to locate the element that appears to the left of a specified element. Similarly, to right of is used to locate the element that appears to the right of a specified element. And the last locator is near, which is used to locate the element that appears to be away by amount of pixels from a specified element. So we can provide the pixel values to locate the object from another object. I'll create another session to see how these new locators work. Then the other improvement or enhancement in Selenium 4 is window and tab management. Now we have method in Selenium to open a new browser window or tab. In earlier version, we used to create another web driver object to open a new window. And then we have to use switch to method to switch between the different windows and tabs. But now in Selenium 4, we can call the methods to open and switch to a new window or tab using the same web driver object. So to open a new browser window, we can use the command driver dot switch to dot new window window type dot window. So this is going to open and switch to a new browser window. And if you want to open a new tab in the browser, then you can use the command driver dot switch to new window window type as tab. This is going to open and switch to a new browser tab. So in Selenium 4, this is really easy to work on multiple browser windows and tabs. And the next important feature in Selenium 4 is Chrome DevTool support. Chrome DevTool is used by many of us to locate objects or to create XPath to identify the object. So most of us are already aware about the Chrome DevTool, and we know that apart from inspecting an element in the DOM, Developers used to perform other activities using dev tools like monitoring the performance, getting network information, running and debugging JavaScript, getting the console logs and other stuff as well. So with the help of Selenium 4, now we can use the Chrome dev tool APIs to get those informations. With the help of those APIs, we can simulate the network conditions as well to test the application on fast and slow network. After that, in Selenium 4, there is an update in the action class as well. Action class is used to simulate the keyboard and mouse events on the provided web element. So there are some changes in the functions which we use to simulate those events. For example, to click on a web element, earlier we need to use the command action dot move to element web element dot click. But now we can use action dot click web element to perform a left click on the element. In WebDriver 4, move to element method is merged within the click method itself. Similarly, earlier we need to use action dot move to element, element dot click and hold to hold an element. But now we can use action dot click and hold element to perform a click and hold operation. So this is how you need to update your script to perform the actions on a web element. Now, another major update is the enhancement of Selenium Grid. 
earlier versions of selenium grid requires some level of complexity in setting up the selenium grid hub and nodes but now with the latest version of selenium grid which has the docker support which means that now we can create containers for different nodes and we don't need to create different vms to add other nodes so the new selenium grid is totally redesigned to reduce the configuration hurdles now creating and maintaining the selenium grid is easy and no longer required to configure the hub and nodes separately now nodes and hubs can be configured with a single line of command with the latest version selenium grid can be configured in three modes the first one is a standalone mode in this mode we can run a single command or jar to set up the selenium grid using this command it will automatically find all the drivers from the system paths then in the second one which is hub and node mode in this mode we can set up the selenium grid as we used to set up in earlier versions we can run separate commands to set up the hub and node where first we have to start the hub and then we can register the nodes with the hub then the third one is the distributed mode in the earlier version of selenium grid it used to have two components that is hub and nodes but now in selenium grid 4 it has four components that are router session node and distributor so using these components selenium grid can be set up in fully distributed mode in one of my future sessions i'll talk in details regarding the distributed setup after that last but not the least we have the new upgraded version of selenium id as we know that selenium id is a tool to record and playback initially the selenium id was available as an add on in firefox browser and later got deprecated with the new version of firefox browser but now with selenium 4 the id is available for all the major browsers like chrome edge and firefox in the latest id the ui has been improved it improved the mechanism to add the control statements like if and loop conditions and now the id is much more reliable and stable to perform the test automation so these are the different new features or improvements provided in the selenium 4 i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you